Hello and welcome or welcome back to Creative Vibes. And today what we're going to go over is joining in the round. So what you'll need for today's video is a circular needle. I have this aluminum needle, but you can use a bamboo needle as well. Um, you'll need a stitch marker. You can pick up one of these from a local craft store or you can um, purchase one from Amazon, either way. Just make sure you get one that's the size of the corresponding needle that you use. One that's um, similar in size to the needle. This one's a fairly small needle, so you'll need a small stitch, mar stitch marker, excuse me, that will correspond to the size of the needle. Or you can make one from yarn if you don't wanna buy one. Just do a little uh, slip knot and make sure it has that knot in the middle if you don't wanna buy one, so that's an alternative as well. So what I wanted to demo really quick before we start how to join in the round is how to cast on, because that is one thing that I questioned when I started. Is it the same technique that is used um, when you cast on versus, you know, with a flat needle, is it the same way? And yes, it is the same. So don't worry about that. So do your slip knot just as you would for a flat needle, just like that. And just cast on just like you would if this was a flat needle. So I'm just doing the long tail cast on and you just do it just the same. So I'm just doing a couple just so you can see. So it's just the same as if you would for a flat needle. Do as many as you need for your pattern, just as you would for the flat. So grab your circular needle and I'll teach you two different ways that you can use so that you can join in the round. So now that you have your stitches casted on, the very most important thing, no matter what you're doing, is to make sure that all your stitches are straight, which means that all your bumps are even. So they're a little twisted here. So we're going to just make sure they're all going in the same direction facing the same direction. So we're just going to even them out. So what I would suggest, you just lay them down like what I have here on a flat surface. And all I'm doing is just picking them up and just gently turning, turning, turning until I see that the knots are facing all the same direction. Don't be too rough because you obviously don't want anything to fall off. And this looks good to me. Looks like everything is lined up. So that's very important. And while you're knitting, you just want to take note that everything is not going to be twisted and everything is going to be facing the same direction. No twists while you're knitting as well. So keep that in mind as well. So it looks like we're ready to go. We got our stitch marker right here, ready. So we can begin. So we're gonna scooch everything forward. So I don't have enough stitches to cast, cast it on to cover the whole circumference of this needle, but that's okay. We're just gonna scooch up until we get almost to the tip, but obviously not all the way to the end so nothing falls off, but we're good to go. So with the one by one row rib, we're gonna make sure, cause we're gonna knit the first stitch. So we're gonna make sure the yarn is toward the back, okay? Because it's a knit stitch first. All right, so we're good to go with that. Push up, push up, push up. We're going to put our stitch marker that we made Gonna put that on. Yarn is in the back, so we're ready to rock and roll. So this is the simplest way that you're going to join in the round. All you're going to do is just knit into this first stitch. And I'm doing the one by one row uh, rib, because I'm making a hat. 
So I'm going to knit into that first stitch. So we're going to knit that one, okay? So with, we're going to put the yarn in the front to purl. So we're going to purl that stitch. And I will attach that video just for review, if you need to review that. And then we're going to do the yarn to the back. And then we're going to knit. Then yarn to the front. And then we're going to purl. And so on and so forth until we get to the end. The stitch marker. And I will be back to show you how it looks when we get to the end of the stitch marker. So I'm coming towards the stitch marker. So I just wanted to show you guys how that looks for this first technique. So I'm going to knit, scoot up, purl, And then your last stitch should be a purl. Remember, I'm doing the one by one row rib, ending with the purl. And now I'm joined in the round. As you can see, you're gonna have this um, long line here. Don't worry about that. As you knit and go along, this will close up you can kind of pull on this string down here, but I wouldn't fuss too much over it because it is going to close up as you go along. So what you will need to do is just move your stitch marker over to your right hand. I'm a right hand knitter, so. And then have your needles face you as you go on and move forward with your knitting. For me, I start off with it facing outward to do my initial row, but as I go on with the other rows, I have it face towards me to knit going further. But that's the first technique. That's the easiest way to join in the round. You just knit into your first stitch and you're joined. So super simple, nothing to it. So I'm gonna show you technique number two, and that's just as easy. It just has one little nuance to it, but I think you guys can catch on to it. All right, so now we're back and we have, we're gonna go over technique number two. So I am using a darker color, but I did that on purpose because sometimes when you use darker colors, your eyes can kind of play tricks on you. Um, in terms of twisting. So we are twisted. So sometimes you gotta use your fingers to make sure that you're not twisted. And remember all the bumps need to be facing the same direction. So we're good to go on this side. We're all facing inward. On this side, we're a little twisted. So we're just going to Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Scoot up, scoot up to the top. Forward, forward, scoot up, scoot up. Put on, cast on as many stitches as your pattern calls for on your needle, just like before. Have your stitch marker ready. I'm gonna use the one that I got from the store. Get a little bit more yarn ready to go here. So with this one, technique number two, we're gonna take our stitch marker, okay? Grab our needle, get ready to go. Put our stitch marker on like that. We're gonna grab the short yarn, get in focus here, and we're gonna grab the yarn that's from the ball of yarn. Grab them both in your right hand. Oh, don't have that come off. Grab them both in your right hand. I'm a righty, that's what I knit with, okay? 
Make sure they're secure in your right hand, all right? Hold your stitch marker with your index finger. You're going to, now I'm doing the one by one rib because I'm doing another hat. I guess I'm obsessed with making hats, but that's what I'm doing. So we're going to knit into the first, just like we did with the first um, technique, okay? But remember, we have the short and the long in our right hand. We got those both together, okay? Grab onto that. We're going to knit into that. We're going to take both of those, all right? We're going to wrap around just like you would knit normally. And we're going to knit, okay? Don't let them go. Keep them in your hand. We're going to take them and we're going to bring them both to the front because you know with the one by one row rib, we're knit, purl, knit, purl. So we're going to purl. So we're going to go in. We're going to go around with both of those. So make sure you have enough, make sure it's long enough so you can have enough to hold on to. Don't make it too short. And then you're going to purl. Boom. Okay. Just for those first two. That's it. Now you're going to bring both strings to the front and you can let them go. So it should be doubled. Okay should be nice and thick, doubled. So one, two, hope you can see that one, two. Okay. So now you can let that go. So now you're just going to take your regular one string and now you're just going to knit and purl like you normally do. And I will see you at the stitch marker. So now we are at the end of the round. So as you see, we are joined because we have that little space right there. And remember I said in the first um, lesson that that is going to close up as you knit. So don't worry about that. So you're gonna move your stitch marker from right to left, like I just did. And you're gonna notice that, and I'll try to move a little bit closer so you can see, but you see that you have smaller stitches and you see the bigger stitch, these two bigger stitches. And this is where we did the double in the beginning. So what you're gonna do, and I'll zoom back down, is you're going to have your needles now come towards you. Now they're gonna face you as you begin to knit your subsequent rounds, okay? So you're going to, and I'm a right-hand knitter. So again, we're doing the one by one row rib, okay? So to knit the first stitch, what you're gonna do is have your yarn in the back as you usually do. And the only nuance to this, and you see how this is, and I'll get up closer, you see how this has the two, it's doubled. You don't wanna knit in the middle of that, you want to knit this as one complete unit. That's the biggest nuance. You don't wanna split these two doubles, all right? Whether you're knitting, purling, whatever you're doing, you don't want to split them up. So I am knitting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit this one whole complete stitch. I'm going to knit that. Then I'm going to have the yarn forward. And then I'm going to purl that one whole complete stitch. Do not split it. And you're only going to do this for your first round. And then I'm going to have it forward. Have your needles facing you. Yarns in the back. And then you can go on 
and keep knitting, purling, or whatever pattern you're doing. And that's the only nuance. So as long as you don't split those two initial um, stitches, you are good to go. So let me know how, which one you like best. Do you like the first way to join in the round or do you like the second way? Which one's easiest for you? I particularly like the second way. I find it much neater. I find um, that the joint is much tighter, more concise, it just looks neater. But you let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe, it really helps the channel grow. And I'll see you on the next lesson. Happy knitting.